What's going on YouTube? Tass here bringing you another Fuck Champions recap video and today guys as you can tell by the title of the video I'm starting to find a little bit of rhythm on FIFA 18 so yeah as you can see by the title obviously 80 wins no losses for the month of December and we are two weeks in to the first five month what five week month of FIFA 18 and uh, as you can see on your screen actually before I hop into anything Apologies, I usually record the last 10 games, and, I mean, I just forgot. So I forgot to start recording, so you missed out one of the uh, 10 games that I normally record. So we have 9 games for you. Um, but yeah, Tass is finding a rhythm uh, slowly on FIFA 18. Not sure why I'm speaking from a third person point of view when I'm speaking about myself. But yeah, I'd say, you know, on FIFA 17, I remember my online results... Um, were pretty decent. So I wasn't hitting as many 40s on FIFA 18, which was making me think, okay, what's going on here, Tass? Even though I know, you know, it's not the end of the world. But I just wanted to find some rhythm on that champion. So we're on a back to back 40. Um, I'm not even, I mean, we'll see, you know, if we could do all five weeks 40. But I mean, pigs, pigs, pigs don't fly, unfortunately. So I highly doubt I'll be able to do that. But we'll see if we can hit the treble next week. But heading into this video, um, if you did watch my last one from last week's when I hit my 40. Uh, week 1 of December, it is the same team as I showed you on the screen, bar one player. Now, because I spent that extra 1 million coins on Hullet last week, I wasn't able to afford Lionel Messi. So this week, um, because of rewards, uh, very good rewards, uh, as you saw in the video um, in midweek, I was able to afford Lionel Messi. So Alessandrini, of course, was a... Uh, it was a big problem, so we brought in Lionel Messi, and that was the only change, because I felt like my team was playing exceptional. Um, there are things that now I'd love to do. I'd love to get that striker Ronaldo, and then get, like, a Pele at Cam, and they would all be on full Cam, but let's uh, forget about my future for a second, and let's concentrate on what we're seeing on our screen here. So, as you can tell, I'm th I was 3-0 down. Yes, you saw that correctly. Um, I didn't really go through the highlights, but I'm sure you could tell... Did it not just look like everything he was hitting was just going in? I mean, that free kick was odd. The uh, shot with Alaba, I didn't expect that angle to go in, but maybe I just got my angles wrong. Uh, but fortunately, we were only like 15 minutes in. So here, it's time to do uh, a little bit of a crazy comeback. And these things are more so what you'll see from Gorilla on Gorilla's channel. So shout out to Gorilla. This is kind of his type of FIFA. You know, 1-0, 2-0, 3-0 down. Doesn't phase him. He's like, is that it? Am I only 3-0 down? I mean, give me like two minutes of real life and I'll come back. But that's not usually what I do over here. I'm sure very rarely in any type of gameplay video, you have seen me go down uh, by multiple goals even, let alone do the comeback. Um, so I was pretty ecstatic and actually felt like Gorilla for a second when I um, uh, have done this comeback. So as you can see, 3-0 down. 60, 70 minutes in and we got 5-3 up and obviously tasted about from then on and won the game 5-3. But I believe actually we do get uh, a pointless penalty here. Don't know what he's doing. I think he's just frustrated. Um, and we round it off with a 6-3. You went from being 3-0 down. Um, so yeah, that is a gorilla-like game of FIFA. For me, I don't want many of those. You know, I don't want any of those actually. Forget many. So hopefully we won't see that kind of game again. Um, going 3-0 down, that is, that is unacceptable. But... We managed to pull it out, and I remember after this game, it sort of woke me up. But shout out to him, he was decent. He was, yeah, I thought like his defending was pretty bad. Uh, but then again, my defending for like 15 minutes was really bad, so I don't know. But um, yeah, we managed to pull it out. And at this point, how many games we got left? We got seven. Oh, we still got quite a few games left. So um, at that point, I'm like, I think that was the game that's going to help me hit 40. Because there's always a game that you have if you hit a 40, where you're like, yeah. That could have swung the other way. So I think that was one of them games. Because um, I don't think there was another game that was sort of as questionable. Or anywhere near as questionable as that. But we managed to pull it out. Um, but yeah, let me speak about, you know, that on reset and mid thing is still working. We're in week two, right? We're in week two. Leave a comment below what you think about this. We're in week two. Henri or me or the team has hit back-to-back -back 40s, of course. But he is playing center mid. So let me know what you guys think. Do you think Omri... Do you know, is it just me? Just finally hitting a groove on FIFA 18 and um, being able to hit these 40s? Or is this Omri centre mid thing working for you guys, in your opinion, from what you've seen in just these highlights in the last two weeks? Because I know it's hard to tell from highlights because a centre mid 
doesn't really get the shine he deserves unless you're watching the full game. You've got to be watching the full game. Um, otherwise, you just won't see the shine that he deserves, and that was a decent little turn there from R9. Um, but let me, leave me a comment below. I mean, I remember putting him in a center mid. I never thought I'd be hitting a back-to-back for you with Thierry Henry center mid. So that's, like, giving me external reason to carry this on. So we'll see what happens next week and uh, uh, onwards. But I did say to you guys, this had nothing to do with me hitting a 40 last week and this week. Hence why I'm hyping it up. I had this theory ping on when I realized Tass... After using that Thierry Henry 93, is he going to compete for you at regionals and stuff with the team of the year, Cristiano Ronaldo, and the prime Brazilian R9? And the answer was no. So then I was like, well, damn, can we put him Cam? And then I used him and I was like, Cam won't work, Tass. Let's be real. Cam's not going to work. So then I came to the conclusion, okay, it looks like he's going to sit on the bench, unfortunately. But then I thought, hang on a sec. I've got Patrick Vieira and uh, Hullet, and of course there's no question at all, but their partner is Matthias, and there's not that there's anything wrong with him, but it's definitely not perfect. So there was a hole there, because Henri's not going to play like fullback or centre-back. So then that right centre mid, how I thought, Henri, six foot two, medium-medium for some reason, because EA thought he's medium-medium, I don't know how, um, and every stat bar the defending stat is rolling in our favour. So I thought, Tass, we're going to have to see what happens here. So, I mean, from results, specifically, bar thinking about, uh, talking about my personal opinion, the results speak for themselves, right? Uh, two weekends, him at centre mid, and both weekends, a 40 is hit. I mean, I don't know. I'm not a result guy, though. I'm not, I'm not part of the result business. I don't just, I, I mean, no, the, I don't know what I've just said. I, I be, obviously, results matter, but results don't, cloud my judgment because sometimes you can get a result and it's just not truly what should have happened um but i'm going off how i feel uh, so whenever i explain to you guys how i feel about a certain player or something it's a lot more important than if he scores 10 goals a game or if he scores like or if he plays exquisite or if he hits a back-to-back -back 40 in this instance um and he feels incredible so we'll see what happens with that moving forward but that's pretty cool um to even think about that and from the moment I've put him in, the results we've seemed to roll off. Uh, it's a bit of a, as you could say, a bit of a conspiracy, isn't it? I don't think conspiracy is actually the word. I think there's another word I'm looking for. But we're live, so I don't have time to be thinking. Uh, moving on. Don't know how many games we've got left. We've got a couple games left. I think I started turning it up here. And the opponent started feeling... Um, the Raf a bit. So, first cross goal, I think, of the whole weekend. <laughs> to be honest, they don't really come often. Um... Cristiano Ronaldo was free at the back post. I thought I'd try it. And, I mean, he's probably the best header of the ball I've used um, on FIFA 18. He just doesn't lose many headers, especially when he's free. So, that was a decent goal. Extra pass to Rude Hiller. 2-0. Um, and at this point, this game feels like it's over. You can tell, you know, you're just seeing Tass highlights over and over again. And at this point, the poor guy is getting Lionel Messi top... Oof! See, sometimes when I watch a guy like that, I'm like, Messi, really? Are you that guy? But he's not. He's not for me. I cannot wait. This will be a long way away. I'm not that rich, guys. I'm not gorilla rich yet. Um, to get the striker Ronaldo um, and get rid of the Messi. So Messi's right forward. Get rid of Messi and get Pele. 95 Pele. Or maybe 91 Ronaldinho. Oh, my God. Then... The key to that is that Ronaldo, because the striker card, will be on full chemistry. I mean, I could use the left forward card, but he'll be on seven chemistry, which I'm not a big fan of. So that's kind of the point in that. But that Ronaldo is like four million. Uh, Pele is like 4.55 million. I mean, by the time I can reach that, yeah, we'll probably be in like January or February or something silly like that. But uh, we will try. We'll see what happens and how lucky you get in rewards. You never know. But uh, um, what else is there really to speak about? Let me think. Let me think. Let me think. Tassie, Tassie, Tassie. Da, 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 da. Um, okay, yeah. Oh, yeah, video ideas. So I brought out a couple squad builders. Um, didn't really... I think before I brought any of them out, I had, like, an order I wanted to do them in. Like, I was going to do, like, 250k Premier League, 500k Premier League, seven, uh, not 750, then 1 million Premier League, and then uh, vice versa for the same with the La Liga and the Italian League. Um, but then I just sort of have done it off the bat. 
Um, so leave a comment below for other kind of video ideas, or if the squad builders are actually good help, I will keep bringing them out. I'll keep bringing different types out, different leagues and stuff like that, if you guys enjoy it. Um, I believe me and Gorilla are trying to think of a video idea. I'm sure you guys saw his tweet. I'm sure you guys... Uh, don't know if he spoke about it in a video actually, but he's tweeted about it, we've spoke about it. It's just about coming up with the great idea, um, which at the moment we can't really think of. But I believe we will be... Uh, <sighs> but you see, this week, I'm assuming the Team of the Week rewards are going to be very bad. So therefore, I'm going to have to save my pack, guys. So you know for that traditional video on Thursday, unless the Team of the Week turns out somehow to be good from EA, it's up to EA. Um... Then I'll be back with that video. If I'm not, my point was if I was, same with Gorilla, we'll probably be, this has got nothing to do with the video idea, but we'll probably be in each other's pack opening video just to make it a bit more interesting for you guys. And the last time Gorilla and I were in a pack opening video, I got some leg a legend on FIFA 17 and I packed something else crazy and I packed him team of the years and stuff like that, vice versa. He was around my house like on FIFA 17. So we'll see what happens with that. But uh, I think the team of the week kind of sucks this week, so I highly doubt that will be going ahead uh, imminently, but video ideas do leave them, um, but yeah, I'm trying to think, so basically with foot, champion, foot champions, right, unless I'm doing like a challenge, I don't know what Rude Hullet's doing, unless I'm doing like a challenge in terms of like, like the 100k challenge, which is the only challenge I've done so far, because I'm trying to think what kind of challenge I'd actually want to do, um, now that I'm 80 out of 80 for the month of December, I want to try chase that first rank, um, for the month of December is a long way to go. Um, so therefore I'm not going to do any challenges for Fut Champions Weekend Leagues. Otherwise I could do like an Arsenal team, something cool like that. Um, God knows what else, an England team probably. Who knows? You guys, I'm sure would leave a comment below for some cool ideas. But I want to try and get that monthly rank. So therefore I'm going to use my sweat team, basically. So uh, unless this goes horribly wrong in the next like week or two, uh, I'll probably not be able to do any challenges, so uh, just wanted to give a heads up on that because I was interested in doing something like that. Uh, another challenge, just like the 100k uh, challenge for the weekend league, but unfortunately, uh, it's not gonna, it's not gonna, it's not gonna take place because we uh, we're somehow 80 out of 80 somehow. <clears throat> but at this point, this guy's a legend. We score basically off kickoff, and the guy says, "Screw Tass, screw you, screw you. I'm done with you. I, I mean, I can't be bothered watching this anymore." So he just says, "I'm gone." Um, so thank you to him. 40 out of 40 is achieved. Um, here is the leaderboard. Uh, there I am. LBJ player ground. If you guys... Actually, let me give you some inside info on why it's LBJ. So, it was qualification, and I thought everybody was, like, sweating against me. So, I thought, instead of me having tasks, maybe people just won't recognize me, and they won't try maybe as hard. So, I changed it, and I thought, what should I change it to? So, I thought Thierry Henry is too obvious. Um, so for LBJ is LeBron James, if you don't know, um, a basketball player who I'm personally a huge admirer of. So that's where the idea came from. And the playground is sort of like, it's his playground. Yeah, that part's pretty dead. But anyway, there you can see, first uh, for the month at the moment, Gorilla right there behind us. That's how I like to see it. That is actually how I like to see it. That reminds me more of a FIFA 17 online leaderboard. Gorilla, Tass, Neck and Neck. That's cool to see. But anyway, if you did enjoy the video, please leave a like on the video. Subscribe if you are new. Comment below some video ideas. And uh, yeah. Till next time, guys. I'll catch you later.